in another one of the dreaded dunes. Perfect. This part four seemed like they're going to be pretty tough, but it's going to be what we can get done with what ball is going to be dependent on the wind. So, like if we do have to take a second shot on these, it may be you can't get as close if you go to the left as you can when you go to the right. But if you go to the left, the wind's going to be absolutely behind you as opposed to go into the right where it'll be a little bit of side wind. All right. Got to tighten. We're in between clubs here. So this would normally be a... A wood, a wood hole. One point oh, we're at max club. That's about a half a ring. We're just a titch in the power. Isn't it perfect? Give myself a look. See if that backspin combo is right. So if you want to bring a tight and you want to bring a three power ball, you can get up there and get it done with your Saturn in a pretty safe spot. Your landing zone down at the bottom is um, in front of the sand, so the sand's completely out of play. Well, I mean, you'd have to hit it really bad in order for the sand to get in play because I think I was on the other side of the bottleneck. But if you bring a low power ball, a zero power ball, you may be slightly forward of that with the Guardian and you have more backspin. And you could start off on the fringe instead of starting off on the fairway. You always get irregular bounces when you go from one surface to the next. So if you can start off on the, on the green and then keep it on the green, you have a better shot of repeatability than if you're trying to hit the fairway and then bleed it off towards the cup. My opponent went straight at it. 